Ever dreamt of time travel? Well, the James Webb Telescope is making it a reality. This incredible telescope has gone back in time, capturing images of galaxies that are a mind-blowing 13.4 billion years old in a universe that itself is 13.8 billion years old. Can you believe it? With Webb, we are literally taking a trip to the very beginning of the universe, almost to the point of the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope is not just any telescope. It's the largest, most powerful, and most complex telescope ever sent into space. So join us at Universe Revealed as we dive into the mysteries of the universe's birth and unveil seven groundbreaking discoveries made by the James Webb Telescope. In September, the Webb Telescope took its first ever picture of a faraway planet called HIP 65426b. Scientists found this planet back in 2017. To snap a picture of it, they used two cameras on Webb, some special filters, and something called a coronagraph, which blocks out the bright light from the star at the center. What's cool about this planet is that it's super far away from its star, much more than any planet in our solar system. Imagine our sun to earth distance. Now this planet is a whopping 100 times farther away. To put it in perspective, Pluto is only 40 times that distance. This planet isn't just far away, it's also really big, like 12 times bigger than Jupiter, which is the largest planet in our solar system. Scientists came across a special planet called WASP-39b. Thanks to Webb, this planet is currently the most explored planet beyond our solar system. It is a gigantic gas planet that hangs out in the Virgo constellation about 700 light years away from us. It's almost the size of Saturn, but it's not a cozy place. This planet is boiling hot. What makes it even more interesting is how close it is to its host star. WASP-39b orbits its star at a distance that's eight times closer than Mercury is to the Sun. With the help of Webb, we are learning more about this distant and intriguing world. By utilizing Webb's primary camera and two spectrographs, researchers have made a groundbreaking discovery. They identified carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of an exoplanet for the very first time. This distant world, however, has a thick atmosphere. It's primarily composed of dense clouds containing sulfur and silicates, including sulfur dioxide. By studying the planet's atmosphere, scientists gained insight into its history and formation. It's believed that the planet took shape through the collision of smaller celestial bodies known as planetismals. Despite its current proximity to its star, the planet originally formed much farther away. This is inferred from the fact that it has more oxygen than carbon in its atmosphere. The Webb Telescope has played a crucial role in unraveling these details about the composition and origin of this intriguing exoplanet. What might resemble rugged mountains in the moonlight is in fact the border of a close and young area where stars are being born. This region, known as NGC 3324, is part of the Carina Nebula. The James Webb Space Telescope used its near-infrared camera, NearCam, to capture this image in infrared light. This special view helps us see parts of the star formation process that were hidden from us before. It's like shining a light on the secrets of new stars coming to life. Known as the Cosmic Cliffs, this area is like the edge of a huge, empty space filled with gas within NGC 3324, which is about 7,600 light years away from us. Strong ultraviolet radiation and winds from very large, hot, young stars in the middle of the bubble created this huge space in the nebula. These stars are located just above the area shown in this picture. The intense energy and radiation from these stars are shaping the wall of the nebula. This radiation acts like a sculptor, slowly wearing away and changing the nebula structure over time. Capturing the early stages of star formation is quite challenging. For each star, this phase lasts only around 50,000 to 100,000 years. However, the James Webb Space Telescope's remarkable sensitivity and precise ability to see details have documented this rare and fleeting occurrence. Webb's advanced technology allows us to witness and understand the birth of stars, even though it happens relatively quickly in cosmic terms. The James Webb Space Telescope has a special ability to see through dust. This uncovers things that other telescopes like the Hubble couldn't see because they mainly use visible light. A picture taken by Webb of two galaxies crashing into each other, IC 1623, revealed something that Hubble missed, a region where stars are forming rapidly. Scientists say these stars are being born 20 times faster than in our own galaxy. In this new image, the colliding galaxies have a super bright area where stars are forming. 
This region shines with infrared light, creating a distinctive pattern that Webb usually sees when observing bright stars. This part of the image was hidden from the Hubble telescope by a thick layer of dust. Webb's special power allows it to see things that were previously hidden, helping us learn more about the amazing processes happening in space. Researchers think that two galaxies, about 270 million light years from Earth, are merging and could be creating a supermassive black hole. Interestingly, this black hole isn't visible in the image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. Although the James Webb Space Telescope wasn't originally designed to find exoplanets, it managed to discover a rather peculiar one named VHS 1256b. But here's the twist. It's not a planet at all. It's actually a brown dwarf, bigger than a planet, but not quite large enough to be a full-fledged star. This brown dwarf emits a faint reddish glow. This is due to a unique form of fusion that occurs in objects that are hefty, but not hefty enough to fuse hydrogen like stars. Adding to the oddities, Webb observed that this brown dwarf has clouds made of a sandy silicate material, something never seen before in objects of this kind. Also, this exoplanet, or brown dwarf, is relatively small for its kind, this suggests that it's in the early stages of its life. Similar to how Webb studied WASP 39b, it also examined the peculiar atmosphere of the brown dwarf. Webb could pinpoint specific chemicals in the atmosphere of this odd celestial object. These included water, methane, carbon dioxide, and potassium, among others. By looking at the ratios of these different compounds, scientists concluded that the brown dwarf has a turbulent and dynamic atmosphere. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to look at the farthest galaxies in the universe. In the middle of December, scientists confirmed that Webb did exactly that. The telescope successfully observed the four galaxies that are the most distant and as a result, the oldest. Webb saw these galaxies as they were about 13.4 billion years ago, back when the universe was only 350 million years old. To put it simply, this means Webb captured a glimpse of these galaxies when the universe was just 2% of its current age. Yeah, we took a peek into the very early days of our universe. Scientists had a hunch that these four galaxies were very, very old, similar to hundreds of other galaxies that Webb had spotted. To check their age, researchers used data from the telescope's near-infrared spectrograph. They analyzed how fast these galaxies were moving away from the telescope. Scientists call this movement redshift. This measures how much the wavelengths of light from these galaxies have stretched out as the universe expands. The redshift for these galaxies was measured at 13.2, the highest ever recorded. In simpler terms, this means that these galaxies are super ancient. Their light has traveled a very long way, giving us a glimpse into the early days of the universe. The Pillars of Creation in the Eagle Nebula is a famous image from the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble showed us the beautiful clouds in the structure, but the actual process of creation inside those clouds was hidden from view because Hubble mostly sees visible light. Now the James Webb Space Telescope, with its infrared imaging, has managed to uncover what's happening inside. It captured numerous protostars, which look like tiny red dots against the smoky background of the pillars. These clusters of dust and gas are much larger than our entire solar system. They're actually stars in the process of being born. Pictures like this not only demonstrate Webb's skill as an infrared telescope, but also offer us a chance to learn more about how stars, including our sun, come into existence. The James Webb Space Telescope is a big step forward in our journey to learn about the universe and where we come from. It looks at every part of the universe's history, starting from the bright glows right after the Big Bang. It goes on to explore how solar systems like the one we live in form and can support life on planets like Earth. The telescope even studies the changes in our very own solar system over time. You can call Webb a super-powered time-traveling eye that helps us see and understand the amazing story of our universe. From the very beginning to the complex forms that allow life to exist, this telescope is our guide to unlocking the secrets of the universe.